Well, here we are. It's the 7th of July. It's about a month since we were here last time. And as usual, an awful lot's happened. Just below me, you can see the pitch, the main pitch. I'm sure you've seen bits of it on uh, YouTube already. All the soil's been laid and really soon this will just be turning green, which is dead exciting. Um, there's about six, there's loads of people on site at the moment, about 60 different lots of people. And at the far side, you can see lots of brick layers there, putting up the bricks on the inside. I know that the far side there, it looks like the cladding's been put on and it looks almost finished at that side of that stand. So we're going to go and have a look around the rest of the site. And we've come to look at what's happening with the East Stand again. So this is the stand that will become the MRE equivalent. And they started to dig the foundations. The holes are there, the cages are going in. So it looks like the reconditioned unit from Northwich, Victoria will be arriving very soon. So as you can see behind me on my right hand side, um, it looks very heavy work, but they're putting the bricks up to be the insides, to make the rooms on the insides of the building. And then on below me on my right side here, um, somebody's putting scaffolding up the side of the building here. So they'll be building up the walls and then putting the cladding on the outside to make it look beautiful. So I hope you can see that just behind me down here, there's a trench that's got a big blue um, and yellow pipe in it, which we think is bringing in the water and gas. And then there's another trench there that goes to that green electric substation over there. So this will be bringing in the utilities to our stadium. Well, we just came in this room and look what we found. I must admit, I've never seen this side of a toilet before. It's all the plumbing bits. So you've got all these lovely um, copper, copper tubes here, all the plumbing around there. And then you've got all these cisterns on the wall, but with no toilet attached yet. It looks really good. Well, uh, lots of lovely pipes copper pipes, silver pipes and these big ones. Over there is where the artificial pitches is going to be so we're going to go and have a look at that. Well over the past few months all this area here has been covered in massive mounds of earth. Now like a miracle all that's disappeared and this is totally flat. So this is where we're going to have the artificial pitches. And last weekend, FC Digger volunteers helped clear some of that hedge back, crop it back a bit, um, just behind where the pitch is, so that it was easier for the contractors to get on on Monday. If you want to get involved in that project, check it out here. Yeah. My name's Luke. I'm, I'm, I'm Anthony. Right, OK. And what's your job on here? Just basically keep an uptake of the, the machine work, what's going on around the site at the minute. Yeah? Uh, I'm the ground worker. Just basically doing all sorts of things. Yeah. Dealing with the ground at the moment over there. Right, but, yeah. so what, what's happening with this pitch? This is a 3G pitch, this. Yeah. yeah. 3G AstroTurf pitch, which should be, the, I think this is a community pitch, this, right. where the local community can come and do it. So, yeah. really, it's a good thing to have, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, what have you been doing on it? Just make leveling it, it out at the I've moment. I've not been on this. Get, get rid of all the, uh, all like, the slush because of the rain. Just basically leveling it out now. Get right. ready for it to, to, lay the, to lay the 3G. Very good. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. And do you, just, do you support a football team yourselves? Um, I support Burnley, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, so that's so. Hey, so uh, that's I, I don't follow it that much, really. I'm more of a rugby man, but. All oh, right. But, you know, don't mind it. You don't mind it? I don't mind it. Are I'll you going to come now, and watch yeah. FC? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll have a trip down, I suppose, yeah. Down. Yeah, all right. Yeah, very okay, good. then. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers well, for that. Right, well, behind me, this is magnificent object here is the water tank which is going to hold 24,000 litres of water when it's full, which is 24 tonnes worth of water. Um, and it's going to provide the water for the irrigation of the pitch. Um, from this, they're going to sink a borehole really deep under the earth. I'm not quite sure how deep. Somebody no doubt will know to get the water that's in deep under the ground and, and use that to, do, to go onto the pitches, which then, of course, it'll be recycled because it'll go back down into the earth. Fantastic. So you can keep your Buxton spring water. Our pitch will be irrigated with Moston's finest spring water. Well, here we are on top of one of the mounds of earth, which one day won't be here anymore because uh, it'll be moved, but it's here temporarily. And we get a great view from here. You can see that machine with the spiky things doing its job, whatever it is. I think it is to do with getting stones out because he seems to be like getting things out as he goes along from behind. And then this is behind the MRE. Well, or what it will be the MRE. You can see the foundations. Well, we're going to just do a 360 degrees for you so you can see how it's going on from the middle of here. 
As you can see, it's a hive of activity with stuff happening in all different areas. You've got pipes, you've got scaffolding, you've got brick laying, you've got piles of earth, you've got diggers. Lovely thing here that would be quite nice to make into a planter, but never mind. Um, more diggers and back round to the artificial pitch.